Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Dude, Where Is My Beer? This is an indie point and click adventure game that only came out about a month ago and it's something I've had my eye on for quite a few months for its development and I'm excited to finally get around to playing this. So, uh, we are going to look at the options. Uh, yep, yeah, all looks good. Difficulty. Um, social drinker, average or true game. And let's go true game because we, we know what point and click games are about, right? So, new game. Let's see what this is about. I'm really excited for this. I love the art style. It, it looks fantastic. And this has got really good reviews as well all over the place. So I'm, I'm really, really excited for it. Quite a few Norwegian names and things. This is set in Oslo. So apologies for the fact that I will absolutely butcher any sort of pronunciation. Okay, everybody. 30 minutes rest stop. Okay, so... Beer is good, but beers are better. Old Chinese prover proverb. <laughs> Lovely, I agree. <laughs> Click to continue. And here we are. What a long trip. I think I need a beer to refresh myself. Do I hear you're in need of refreshments? Yes. Yes, where can I have a pilsner around here? There's a pub next to the bakery. Never been there myself though. I keep my beers in a cooler on the bus. I know that place, that's where Carl works. Good old Carl. I dunno, can I have one of your beers? No, they're for the road, oh my god, is he the driver? <laughs> but you can't drink and drive, I think he is. No, of course not. Something tells me he does. Okay, and we're, we're here. We're, we're literally straight in. Okay, we've got enough money. <laughs> Very good. And a view master as well, so that's that's pretty cool. Uh, we've got all our commands down here, which is brilliant. I like the way they light up when you hover over them. Uh, first impressions, very, very good. I like it. Okay, uh, can we say anything else to the bus driver before we go? Uh, do we have to do talk? Yeah, okay. Uh, where did you say that bar was? Next to the bakery. Uh, is the bakery any good? I like the music. The music's cool as well. I've never been. It seems to be closed all the time. Do you know why? I think I'd better get back to my thoughts. Yeah, you'd do that. <clears throat> it's not very helpful, is it? Catch you later. Okay, bye. Uh, can we go onto the bus? No, this is my stop. Okay, so this is obviously where we we, we live then, I'm guessing. Uh, let's look at the poster. Welcome to Oslo. Thank you. Oslo looks different. <laughs> uh, there's a vending machine here. Let's look at this. Soda vending machine. Uh, there's a bin. Can we look in the bin? Just a regular rubbish bin. Okay. Can we open up the bin at all? I can't open that. Can we use the bin? No. Can we use this, the vending machine? In case you still didn't get it, I need a pilsner, not a soda. Okay. Um, a weird Norwegian word. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. Uh, visit Costa Rica. Now, I know... I believe the developer for this game, or one of the developers for this game, is um, part Norwegian, part Costa Rican, which is why there's little references all throughout. It's, I like it. Nice little touches. We can open this bag? Surely not. I don't have their permission to use that yet, I was going to say. Uh, what are these people? Hips the couple. What? I can't talk to these people. I'm a socially awkward person that cannot speak to strangers unless I have some alcohol inside of me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Better get that pilsner. Yeah, I guess we'd better. Um, can we look at the bags, though? I guess it's that girl's bag. Yeah, I guess it probably is. Uh, can we look at the other bag? I guess it's that guy's bag. It is. Uh, Chantal. Can we... Will we be able to talk to her again? Is it going to be the same sort of deal? Okay, yeah. So we can't speak to anybody until we've had a drink, it seems. A mother with a child. Or who knows? A random woman with a stroller. <laughs> okay. Could be. Could well be. Uh, what's this? Brewing contest. That looks interesting. 
What's that? Eight? Eight brewing contest? Why brew beer when you can easily buy an ice cold pilsner in every pub? So yeah, if you don't know, the gist of this game, the backstory if you will, is that this guy is looking for a good old fashioned beer in the world of craft ales and all those type of things. So he just wants a regular beer and of course, I don't know if you guys, here in London we have so many different beers. You go into the pub and there's literally, you know, 30, 40 different beers and some of them are just ridiculously priced. Um, I'm talking, you know, six, seven pounds for a pint of beer, which is just crazy. Um, ticket machines, can we use any of this? Okay, so we can't do anything with that. What's up on the screen? It shows bus routes, okay. Oh, here's the bakery. The station's gluten-free bakery. Okay, let's have a look at this. Uh, it looks closed, like the driver said. <coughs> it's locked, okay. Anything in the bin? Just a regular rubbish bin. Okay. Looks like it's happy hour, which is always good. It says happy hour and it points to the pub. Sounds exactly what I need right now. Uh, okay, so it's called underground, the underground pub. Very nice. Beer, vegan, pizza. Okay. It's got all the, you know, the main boxes ticked there. Rubbish. What's this rubbish doing here? Oh god, this is a construction site and everything. Let's just go into the pub to start off with, because I think this is what we probably need to do to begin with. Uh, looks like a pretty quirky place. Uh, there's some keys here. There's a load of... Do we not tidy up the glasses in here, guys? The yellow pages. God, I haven't seen one of those for years. Yellow pages 2020. Now 10% more names, okay? <laughs> uh, dartboard. Can we play darts? A good old dartboard with some dart arrows in it. It's an old school non-wireless phone. A retro telephone. Is this going to be like the type of place where they have old things because they think it's cool? Carl's portrait. That's Carl. Okay. That's Carl indeed. Uh, right, there's a couple of chairs. There's some bleach here. Keychain with lots of keys. I love the way his moustache moves when he's talking. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we've got the keys. Nice. The keychain is really heavy. Okay. Uh, can we take any empty glasses? No, we don't need those. It's too heavy. Okay. Uh, why is there bleach on the floor? Oh, because this guy's cleaning, I see. It says bleach, so I guess it's... A bottle of bleach. <laughs> uh, can we take this? Oh, God. I'm sorry. Nicely done, mate. Don't worry, I guess it's good for the carpet. Uh, I don't think it is. Ooh. Uh, can we pick it up now? I love the music. I've got to say, the music is excellent. I don't need an empty bottle of bleach. Okay. Uh, it doesn't look like we can take that. Uh, should we talk to this guy at least? Stellan. Okay, so we can't speak to strangers unless we have some alcohol inside us. Bartenders and bus drivers are the only people I can talk to while being sober. Okay, he's a bartender, so it should be fine. And it's mostly just asking for beer. <laughs> Hello there, what can I get you? Uh, is Carl here? Who is Carl? Uh, he's the bartender here. The brewer of this bar. The guy in the picture over there. <laughs> Ah, the old guy who used to work here. Old? He had to go. Uh, why? Go where? Uh, no way, he was alright. Go? Where did he go? Well, he was fired. He was too old. Oh my god. That's discrimination. He was 38. Yep, yeah, not good for our crowd. Do you know him? Uh, yes, poor guy, I remember he was really interested in brewing weird beers. Yes, I wonder where he is now. Yes, everybody did. During the last economic crash, this was the only pub that remained opened in town. Uh, I wonder where he is now. It's better you forget him. Why is that? Sometimes it's better not to know. So, what should I get you? Uh, a pint, please. A pint of what? Just a pint? 
Yes, of what? Of beer. What kind of beer? Regular beer? You don't make any sense. What do you want? Uh, I want a pilsner. Just a nice cold pilsner. A refreshing pilsner, if you wouldn't mind. Could I, if it's not too much of a bother, have a cold pilsner? <laughs> I'm going to go for that line because it seems ridiculously polite. And here's going to be the, the sort of part where we figure out the story. We don't have that here. There we go. What do you mean? You're joking, right? That we don't have pilsners here. And do you know where I can get one around here? The music is fantastic. No, I doubt that you find any. What do you mean? There are plenty of bars in this town. I'm just saying, you won't find any pilsners without luck. I know there must be some pilsners around somewhere, and I know I'm going to find one real soon. Good luck. I don't need luck, I just need a normal bar, not a hipster hole like this. <laughs> Suit yourself. Uh, why aren't there any pilsners? I wonder what we can use those keys for, by the way. Because nobody wants them. Have you been living under a rock? What are you saying? There are loads of people who love Pilsner. Well, I don't know where they are. I've never met anyone who loves or misses Pilsner. Well, you have now. Well, hi there. Okay, I give up. Can you recommend a beer? Sure, it's my job. I love craft beer. Drinking craft beer. Recommending craft beer. <laughs> Discussing craft beer. Brewing craft beer. <laughs> wow, you really do live for your beer. Uh, yes, I do. Anyway, we have six different beers on tap and 250 bottles. That is literally what it's like in the pubs around where I live, by the way. I don't mind the odd craft beer, but sometimes it's a bit much. What would you like? Uh, something pilsnery? <laughs> Well, as I told you before, we don't have those, but we have stouts, red ales, porters. We even have... Can I have something that's not very weird? Let me see. This is the cheapest one here. Nobody ever orders it because it has very few reviews. <laughs> it's called Male Female Pale Ale for Sale. Oh my lord, that's a... It's a name, isn't it? Pretty boring, if you ask me. <laughs> I'll take one. Here you go. <laughs> the face. <laughs> yeah, I can't drink this. This tastes like old bread. Well, you still have to pay for it. Fine, fine. How much? Twenty-four euros. <laughs> it's literally like living my life right now. Uh, are you crazy? I know, right? It's the cheapest beer. I might as well drink it all. <laughs> now that I'm drinking, you can see that the blood alcohol content, BAC, goes up in the indicator at the top right. Ah, you can always see how drunk you are here. There's a drunk meter. That's a nice little feature. Maybe it can affect your decisions and the results of your actions. That is a very interesting little mechanic. Good luck, and remember, drink responsibly. <laughs> So we're a bit tipsy now. I'm really impressed by that. I think that's a really cool little mechanic that that's going to affect how we play the game, depending on how drunk we are. That That's really, really interesting, actually. Uh, we've got bottles, we've got a TV. Uh, right, anything else, man? Can we, can we say anything else to you? I, d I don't want another beer. Okay, bye. Uh, right, janitor, let's have a chat, man. What's going on? I guess we can't talk to him. Hey there. Oh, we can because we've had a drink. Uh, are you a janitor? Yes. How did you know? Because of your uniform and... I was being sarcastic. Ah. Uh, do you know where I can get a pilsner around here? I haven't heard that question for years. I've never asked it either. Why not? Why can't I just order a pint of pills in here? I've never asked it either. Are you being a wise ass? 
Not really. Sorry, I'm a bit tipsy. I've been told I can be a bit rude when I'm drunk. Sorry, I'm a bit tipsy. Literally. That's okay. Why can't I just order a pint of Pilsner here? Well, we used to have Pilsner here. But times change, my friend. Gentrification is not waiting for anyone. Now everyone just talks about the NEIPA and wild yeast, but they can't really like all that stuff. It was easier back in the day. I could go anywhere and enjoy a cold Pilsner, but now it's all over. I really miss the good old days. Which old days? <laughs> you know, before all this began. Tell me more. It started when all the bartenders got replaced by younger ones. Hipster ones. So that's what happened to Carl. Exactly, he was the first one to disappear. Why? Who made him disappear? Disappear? That bar told, told me he had to be let go. Uh, who made him disappear? You're asking too much. You should be careful. Oh god, is there going to be like some sort of conspiracy or something? Why? Okay, we're asking too much. Well, it's forbidden for us to talk about what happened. Come on, tell me. You can tell me. I'm a friend. No way. We can be sent away for it too. God, we look kind of similar. Like us and the janitor. I won't say anything. I promise. Pinky promise? Pinky promise? Are they actually going to do pinky promise? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what happened, but don't tell anyone that I... Yeah, yeah, I got it. I, I got it. Okay, now listen. It's believed that the master brewer banned Pilsners and bewitched everyone into liking all these crazy flavoured beers. The master brewer? Yeah, he's said to be the mastermind behind all this. Sounds a bit kooky to me. Of course, and no one knows where he lives or what he does. He only appears once every year to win the brewing contest and keeps his filthy beers around, and they cost twice as much and taste twice as bad. <laughs> An evil beer brewer. <laughs> Tell me more about the contest. Every year the brewing contest produces a winning beer. The brewer said beer gets to choose all the beers that will be sold for the rest of the season. Why does the master brewer always win? I can't say anymore, I've told you enough as it is. Uh, tell me more about the master brewer then. Okay, I can't say anymore. Right, he won't say anymore. Tell me more about his beers. They taste like shit, but everyone seems to like them. Haven't you had one? This master brewer sounds like a douchebag. I can't say anymore, I've told you enough as it is. Right, okay, he won't say anymore. It was nice meeting you. See you around. Right, can we uh, take any of this crap off the floor? A spray. <laughs> Wonderful insight there, thank you. Okay, we don't need that. There's a bucket that looks weirdly like a toilet or something. No, we don't need that. The cellar seems to be closed. It says closed. Can we open it up? I can't open that. Uh, toilet? I haven't cleaned it. Don't go in. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll be watching you. I know I can get in there. I only need to distract him with something so he doesn't see me. Ah, right, okay. So, I mean, we've got the keys. Should open the door first. Right, so we can probably use the keys. Can I help you? No, I'm just looking around. Right, so we need to distract him with something then. Uh, so, what can we distract him with? Can we use the darts board or something? doesn't sound smart. I'm thinking it was something to do with this. I don't need an empty bottle of bleach. Uh, can we... <laughs> What's that do? <laughs> this is more fun in 1978. Yeah, I suppose. Can we... Can you have a go with this? Want to try this? Haha! <laughs> wow, a view master! I remember these, good f these from the happy 80s. Good old days. Right, you play with that. In the meantime, I'm going to use these keys on this door. You think the janitor's keys can open the facilities room? Sounds logical, but the problem is that there are over 30 keys on the ring. Oh, God. But, you know, sometimes you have to do things more than once to get results. Wow. What? You want me to try all of them? Okay, as you wish. Key number one. Oh, my God. Nope, it doesn't even fit. Key number two. Oh my lord. Well, it fits. Oh, thank god for that. And turns around. Wow, we were lucky there. 
I really thought it was going to go for it all. Okay, we're into the bathroom now, which is pretty cool. Um, what do we have? Oh, God, we've got all sorts. This place is filthy. This guy is doing a terrible job, isn't he? Um, I mean, look at this. It's like pee all over the floor. There's something inside the toilet by the looks of things. X marks the spot. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty disgusting in here, isn't it? There's a condom machine as well. Uh, dripping water. God, this place is a state. But I think that's where we'll leave it for this first episode then, guys. Uh, what a great start. I am really hooked on this already, and I cannot wait to play more of this. Um, it, it's great. It's really, really great. It's everything I hoped it would be. The soundtrack is great. The artwork is great. I'm hooked on the story. I want to find this stupid beer so we can actually have like a, a cheap, nice beer rather than all these craft beers which are ridiculously overpriced and taste like whatever people can think of but that's going to do it for this one so as always guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video click on that like button it really does help the channel to grow so i do appreciate it make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so and i'll see you all next time